Well, here it is, October 26, 2017, and it looks like one of my turtles came out. It's uh, 52 degrees out today, except in the sunlight like this. I believe that's Ornetta right there. And uh, the turtles, uh, this time of year, I would think they would uh, be more into hibernation. But you saw her draw her head, possibly, in very quickly. And the markings on her neck and the uh, coloration of her shell remind me a great deal of my oldest female turtle. Um, just up here, where you see a little bit of shade on the uh, soil, Uh, it looks like one of the turtles has tried to dig a hole, possibly for nesting purposes. Anyway, um, most of, all of my other turtles are inside the hibernation chamber, which is located directly underneath this uh, old plastic tabletop here. There are two tunnels that lead into the hibernation chamber, and I am going to raise the lid here and uh, maybe just show you what the hibernation chamber looks like today. One of the uh, tunnels that goes into the hibernation area goes in right here. You may be able to see the tunnel that goes back into the hibernation chamber there. And uh, underneath this uh, wire, plastic wire, uh, there's an opening here. And also, over here where a few of the leaves have dropped in, is a continuation of another tunnel that goes into the hibernation chamber where my turtles have to withstand the cold, cold winters of eastern Oregon when it gets down to a temperature of uh, as cold as 10 degrees below zero. Here's a little close-up of Ornetta. I'm just about 18 inches away from her. She's out here thinking it's going to be a long, cold winter. She just winked at me. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Well, uh, that hibernation chamber area is right underneath this large plastic uh, tabletop. It covers up an area that goes down a long way. You can see some of the moisture dripping off the bottom. And there it is. This is where the Russian tortoise spends the winter and where uh, the other 15 box turtles that I own spend the winter. And the surface there is about oh, 24 inches below the, the top here. And uh, it looks like it could use a little bit more straw in that area. So uh, before I cover this area up so that no excess moisture involved with this area I will put some more straw in there and then I'll make sure that the uh, box turtles uh, don't come out through the tunnels in the middle of winter on a, a given warm day and uh, I don't want them to accidentally get frozen to death and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little <laughs> video of my box turtle enclosure uh, preparing for winter. And this little girl doesn't want to go to bed. <laughs> Would rather be out here. Oh, and the sun does feel good on my back right now. I've really enjoyed having box turtles. Never had them most of my life and just in the last decade that I enjoyed having them. They're not native to Eastern Oregon or Oregon at all. Hope you've enjoyed this video.